Let's see the balance sheet now. Vertical format of balance sheet. Particulars. Quite logical this balance sheet is. You will enjoy this balance sheet. Because it is very easy. Very very easy. So in a normal schedule 3 balance sheet. We write. One as equity and liabilities. Here we will not write equity and liabilities. We will write sources of fund. Here there is no bifurcation like liabilities and assets. Here simply is from where we have received the sources of fund and where we are applying the sources of fund. Part 1 is sources of fund and part 2 is application of funds. Okay. So this is the sources of funds then we'll see the subheads or uh, here we'll see owners fund owners fund is self explanatory owners funds refers to equity then shareholders fund it is also known as shareholders fund also known as net worth equity I just want you all to underline this twice. I'll tell you why I have made you all to underline this twice when we'll be learning formulas. Okay. Then proprietary funds. Under this, we'll see capital A, capital, equity, share capital. then preference share capital x x outer column 2x then we'll add here reserves and surplus reserves and surplus I know this is quite boring for many of the viewers but you need to write this otherwise when I am showing you all the formulas I won't get any link then you will have to again come back and listen the video so better at the first choice listen the video okay capital reserve second CRR capital redemption reserve share premium For general reserve five profit and loss account that also credit balance sinking fund and other funds okay X X X X X X and we don't need to take it directly in the outer column because there is one more thing to come over here less losses and fictitious assets I hope you all know what fictitious assets means so we'll write firstly losses that is profit and loss account debit balance second miscellaneous miscellaneous expenses not written off I'll write W O means written off first preliminary expenses share issue expenses then discount on issue of shares and debentures I know it is not visible just a second then deferred revenue expenditure a B C D E
then finally xx and then this this figure and this figure will be added and you will bring it to the outer column this is the most important head so firstly i'll want you all to pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied this much please pause the video and copy this much I hope you have copied this much. Now we'll see the second part. That is second part of the sources of funds. First was owners fund. I hope that was quite self-explanatory. If you all want, at the end I'll explain you all again because this is very important. If you understand the balance sheet and then after you start solving, it becomes more easier rather solving. Was sol solving more than hundred times and learning the balance sheet is something very, uh, very idiotic. I feel so better understand it and even if you solve two or three balance sheet, it becomes easier for you. Okay, so please don't skip this part. It is for your benefits only. Borrowed funds. In borrowed funds, again we'll divide secured, secured funds. That is loans. First debentures or bonds. Loan from bank or any other financial institution. Second part is unsecured. Funds. That is loans. In this comes public deposits and others. Okay, we are not concerned with this. X X X. This two will be added and will be brought out. I uh, will not take it over here. Okay, we'll take it here only. And final total, it is known as capital employed. It is known as capital employed. The entire this one and this two is known as capital employed. So we'll add this last one and this last one to get the capital employed. Now I am hundred percent sure that. Many of the viewers are very bored, but it will help you when you are solving sums and learning the formulas. Now we'll move on to the second part: applications of the funds. Applications of funds. Part one is fixed assets. You all know what comes under this head. So I don't need you all to explain tangible assets. Here you have to take the assets after depreciation. That is, like furniture less depreciation, then plant and machinery less depreciation. Okay, so I'm not writing that. Uh, then B intangible assets. Again, I'm not going in detail for intangible assets. I know you all are very intelligent. You all know what comes under intangi uh, intangible assets. Second, long-term investments. So I hope this head is quite self-explanatory. Where you have applied your funds that you have received from them, that is the owner's fund and from the borrowed funds. Okay, you have applied intangible asset. Intangible asset you have invested it in somewhere. It might be long term or it might be small, short term. Okay, so I'm not going again into detail. Uh, we'll directly take it like this. And then we'll move on to this directly here. Third is working capital. 
दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्किंग कैपिटल वर्किंग कैपिटल सिंपली मीन्स करंट एसेट्स लेस करंट लाइबिलिटीज आई होप यू ऑल नो वॉट कम्स अंडर करंट एसेट्स एंड करंट लाइबिलिटीज आई डोंट नीड टू गो इन डिटेल होपफुली सो एक्स एक्स वी गेट बिल एक्स एंड देन फाइनली इन द आउटर कॉलम एंड वेन वी टोटल दिस थ्री वी गेट टोटल टोटल एसेट्स बट पॉपुलरली नोन एज टोटल फंड्स एम्प्लॉयड ओके यर टोटल कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड दैट वी हैव रिसीव्ड एंड दिस इज टोटल फंड्स एम्प्लॉयड आई होप द बैलेंस शीट इज क्वाइट सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड कॉपी दिस मच फर्स्ट I hope you all have copied this much. Please pause the video and copy this much. I hope you all have copied this much.